How's it going, boys and girls? Thanks for joining me. I hope you're all doing good. Today, I'm finally going to put some Day State Delta Wolf groups on paper for you guys. We're going to start out at 35 yards. This is going to be a dedicated 35 yard video because then I can get a little more into it. It's easier for me to edit it and get it out the door. And this gun is not going anywhere, okay? So, this isn't my normal gun where I got to get it in, do the review, and then flip it to get my money back out of it. This gun's going to be staying here. So I was able to sit down and have a nice relaxed 35 yard session here without having to rush on a perfect day. So next time I have some free time and a perfect day and all the planets align, then I'll sit down and we'll do 50 yards and on and on. So today we're going to be giving you guys an introduction to the Delta Wolf's accuracy. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, is this gun worth $3,400? Basically the price of three guns and a year's worth of ammo, or a motorcycle, or a car. All things you can buy with $3,400. Another thing you could do with $3,400, Bitcoin goes up and down, okay? And when it's down, it goes to about $3,500, $3,600. I saw it the other day. It's going to go back up to seventy. dollars So you take your $3,000, buy it when it's at $3,500, and then next time it goes to seventy, dollars sell it, okay? That's another thing you can do. So here are just my thoughts so far on that issue. So let's just say that this gun is a 10 out of 10 for accuracy, okay? The fact of the matter is, there are other guns that are 10 out of 10 for accuracy, at least a handful, and they don't cost $3,000. So if accuracy is all you care about, and you think you're gonna spend $3,400 to get the best accuracy that you can in the entire world, this gun's not for you. Because like I say, even if it does deliver that, there's a level of accuracy where you can't get any better and quite a few guns have achieved that by now. Reasons you would buy the Delta Wolf, you buy the Delta Wolf for its versatility. So the Delta Wolf is for somebody who lets to say they want to sling 25.39 grain 22 calibers one day and then they want to go grab their tin of 14.35 grains the next day and shoot those. The 14.35 grains are like half the weight of the 25.39 grains. But all you gotta do is press a couple buttons and you're, and you're done. Oh, you might have to adjust the regulator. As well, you can shoot 22 caliber in the morning and shoot 25 caliber in the afternoon. And if you guys wanna see how quick a barrel change and a tuning change is on this, just watch my barrel change video. You can literally change your caliber and tune it in in like 10 minutes. So the Delta Wolf is basically infinite possibilities. Okay, it's like a computer game that you can never beat. So I feel like it's a gun for someone that likes to do that kind of thing. So if you're somebody that likes to get some different ammo, experiment with some different speeds. Whoa. Until you find the perfect tune. That double mag would be handy right about now. Get that reward of some awesome groups with your favorite pellet. Or you want to get some Zon slugs and push them to 1,020, try 1,050. This gun would actually be the quickest way and easiest gun to tune. So that's the kind of thing you like to do. This gun is for you. Speed shooting. This gun is also for someone who wants to own the latest and the greatest. And I would call that like pride of ownership. It, it, that's a thing like waking up every morning and being able to check out your Delta Wolf It is awesome to own this gun. I mean every day I check it out and look at it and it, it's just as awesome the next day and The other thing about a Delta Wolf is that when you spend thirty four hundred dollars on this gun, you're not losing your money, okay? Whenever you're ready to sell it You're gonna get at least twenty nine hundred dollars out of it. That's worst case scenario. Okay. So you just throw that thing in the Airgun Classified, you get your $2,900 back and you're fine. So that's another thing, it's like, 
this gun's not going to go down in value. I see people selling their used Delta Wolves for 3200 bucks all the time. And they sell. So those are my random thoughts on the Delta Wolf so far. Like I say, I love owning it. Just because of the infinite possibilities. So you can just do anything with that gun. Another reason you might want to buy a Delta Wolf, okay? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. It's a day state that you don't have to worry about scratching, okay? Just let that sink in for a second. Check out these stocks right here from the AOA day state video that they recently put out. Obviously, that's beautiful. Would you ever set that gun on the ground or, you know, like throw that gun in the backseat of your truck without the case or, you know, let your kid take it outside and shoot it or, uh, let me see, what else? I don't know, take it hunting? Okay, or take it on your camping trip. No way. That thing's beautiful. This gun, you could take it, you could just set it right on the grass. You can set it in the dirt. You can throw it in your truck and it's not going to get scratched. It's basically a utility day state. And I tell you guys, that trigger is just as good as the Red Wolf, okay? Lucky chicken! And it shoots like a day state. So that's another big plus that I've noticed, is that it's a day state you don't have to worry about scratching. Okay, fourth point. I saw this in another video. And I said to myself, I thought the same exact thing. You guys know that the buttstock of this gun where the computer part is, is polymer or plastic, okay? But it's, you can't really call it plastic. It's like so hard, there's no way you could ever break it. So you just kind of assume that like the whole gun is plastic. And then like the receiver is aluminum, okay? Like 90% of the guns out there. But no, this gun is all metal. All the way back to the buttstock, just the very end of the buttstock is polymer. So all these guns, including the M3, they all try to imitate the AR-15, okay? And we got the Catron, all of them, okay? We know there's a huge list. And I've handled all these guns, the Vixen, all these guns. This is the closest I have ever felt to a real AR-15, and trust me, I know. Me and the AR-15 are like, it's an extension of my body, okay? So like, yeah, this thing is so compact, and just the way it's weighted, and it's just so solid. It's like... Solid, compact, and a beast. I mean, if you turn it up, it's going to be a Thundercat. So, yeah, and I'm telling you, no gun does a better job of mimicking the AR-15 weight and feel and balance and everything than this gun. Like, when you pick it up, you can tell you got $3,400 worth of quality in your hand. And I think a lot of it is because the gun's like 90% aluminum. So, I like that. And, you know, I'm not a scientist, but they got the, the weight just right and everything. And it's, it's great. I love it. I started out using the Arkin SH4 Gen 2 scope. But I couldn't get the parallax right. So it's giving me a blurry picture. And you can't hit what you can't see. So I switched to my Element Optics it's Helix. Which is a great first focal plane affordable scope. There will be a link in the description if you want to watch a review on this scope. And if you buy one through the link, I'll make 5%. And now it's time to party. We're starting off with the 25.39 grain JSBs. Here we go. All right, we're at 250 bar with my Helix. No limit scope rings. I am going to have to sight in. Oh, I can see much clearer now. All right, I may have to no limit scope rings this. Nope. Let's see if we get a one, a one shot side in. One flyer. 
All right, I'm going to click up to that hole. Probably over a teeny bit. All right, my regulator is going back to 174 every time, so that's good news. I finally got that adjusted right. Set it in, baby. Oh, that was pretty thrilling, though. Well, you know what? It was the scope. I, I, I was getting bad groups, but that arc and scope just does not agree with my eyes or something. I think it's a long-range firearm scope, not really much of an air gun scope. Nine hundred forty-four feet per second, and my rig that time went back to one seventy-one. After you pull the trigger, it does take about five seconds for your regulator to fill back up. Although it does shoot fine if you pull the trigger before that. All right, let's get official. I'm gonna do an official one on right here. Nine hundred I don't know how you're going to get any better than that, but <laughs> let's just put some FX in there for the heck of it. Nice. Those are JSB 25 grains, you guys. And my last shot was 953 feet per second, 171 bar. Going back on my regulator, I'm not going to mess with it. it. Took me about three adjustments to get my regulator to uh, stay where I was at. Like I would set it to 174, let's say, 174. I shoot a little bit, and then it would just start going back to like 165. So that happened twice, and then... I finally got it to where it settled in on the third adjustment. It's been staying where I put it. All right. Oh, accidentally <laughs> loaded JSBs again. All right. Five more JSBs. Two more five shot groups. Freaking laser time, baby. Oh my god, straight! That's the very definition of laser accuracy, you guys, where it just lasers through the same hole. I am actually glad I accidentally loaded that mag with GSPs because that was a pretty badass group right there, buddy. All right, I'm having a great time shooting these groups. I'm going to pump my gun back up, and we're going to do some FX. All right, you guys, a full tank of gas and some 25.4 grains. Let's see what's going on here. Delta Wolf 25. Better turn that gun on, boy. Outstanding. Accuracy doesn't get any better than that, you guys. <laughs> I mean, what can I tell you? We're only at 35 yards, but that's not a dime-sized group. That's pellet on pellet right there. Oh. 
I guess you could say this gun's capable of flyers. I don't know. I, I may have like hurried a teeny bit too much on that one. So now we're on our third magazine of FX from 250. We are at 210 bar right now. Wow, this thing does not f around. Boom, boom in the room room, you guys. I mean, doesn't get any better than that. Nothing else to say. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Like I say, next time I got a nice sunny afternoon, I'll get back at you with a dedicated 50 caliber shooting session and we'll go on from there. For now, everybody take care. Happy shooting. And we'll catch you on the next one.